Hi, I'm Gary Modicky, and I'm a board certified Beverly Hills plastic surgeon. And today we're going to be going over Ricky Martin. Living la vida loca. <laughs> <laughs> There's been a recent change to his look, at least on video, and, and a lot of people that, I, you know, he's on tour now are seeing him in concert and saying, well, he looks maybe like he gained a little weight or he looks a little different. And, and that may be true. I think he has admitted that uh, during COVID he stopped working out, maybe gained a little weight. Um, although it doesn't look like he gained a huge amount of weight. Um, but there's definitely some changes in his face, as well as his styling and wardrobe and other things. So we're just going to go through that a little bit today. I do think it's interesting, particularly when looking at people like Ricky Martin, who um, sort of over the years has been the epitome of male attractiveness and masculinity and just one of those icons of a good looking, attractive guy. And, uh, you know, throughout the years, I think he maintained that. His look was always that, and, and people knew him for that. And when he's younger, he has all the, those things, right? He has great hairline, he has those strong prey eyes, and a little bit of heaviness to them, but really strong. And the strong jawline, wearing facial hair, you know, the, just everything about it was very masculine and, and male and attractive. And even into his 30s and early 40s, he uh, aged very gracefully and became a very handsome man. Same thing, you know. He didn't really look like he was doing too much to his look. He, he maintained that hairline and that, that strong jawline and that look and the, and the strength to his eyes. More recently, there was definitely some changes. Uh, and we've talked about this before. I think there was a recent thing on Zac Efron and different things where sometimes when a very um, strong leading man who's very masculine, suddenly starts to look more feminine. People pick up on it like that. It's really fast. They go, wow, something's different. You know, what is it that happened? I think one of the first things that people always bring up when they see stuff like that is why are they so poofy? Why do they look different? They could say, well, number one, did they gain weight? You know, number two, how old are they? Are they changing things about their bodies? Are they taking hormone replacement? Are they doing testosterone? Are they doing other things that will change the face to make it more poofy and hold water? Uh, and there may be some of that going on, you know, men when they get into their late 40s, early 50s do look to hormone replacement, doing testosterone or modifications, whether, you know, they want to be changing their body type, maybe they may be wanting to change uh, other things about their bodies. These, these sort of hormones affect everything, including the face. Not saying he did that, just saying that's one of the possibilities. Do I think he did a ton of plastic surgery to his face? I don't. The changes I see can be done non-surgically. I don't think he went into like a rhinoplasty and a facelift and all these big surgeries. When I'm looking at him, one of the first things I notice immediately looks more feminine, right? So what can do that to a guy? One of them is changing that, that sculpted, you know, strong jawline and, and buckles in and high cheekbones into a softer, rounder, more feminine, soft face. And I do see that in him. That can be due to the weight change or I think most likely he's probably had some fillers put in his face. And, uh, I'm particularly suspicious of into the cheeks and into the mid face because that's become much fuller in him. And again, that leads to a little bit more of a feminine look. So I think in his case, if that's what he wanted, that's what he's achieved. I do notice again, the eyes have softened. It seems like the brow doesn't have a ton of Botox because he still has those, you know, kind of fine lines in his brow. But in the glabella area where the levens are, though, I do notice that those elevens are gone and that his in that area has even become a little heavier and a little softer. So I'm a little suspicious of Botox into those eleven area or into that middle part of this area in his face, which again can change that look to a more open, pleasant experience and a little less strong, stern appearance. And I see that look that he's just become much softer. You know, that's the word I'd really use for him. And not, I'm not saying that's bad. It's just, you know, maybe that's what he wanted, but that's definitely the look. And then secondly, um, complete change, I think, in his, the way he's styling himself, his hair, the way he's wearing makeup. You know, I think he's uh, accentuating the lips with lip gloss. He's, you know, all of those, the way he's wearing his clothes, the jewelry he's wearing, everything seems to be giving a little bit more air of a, you know, femininity and softness to him. So I think all of that taken together can be a little shocking because you're seeing all of this at once and a, you know, a new look for him. I think in the end, is it plus or minus? It really depends. You know, if he wanted that and that's what he wants, then only he knows if he's happy with the changes. What I think people should realize with all of that is that if you don't want that look, don't do those things. If you do want that look, then do these things. Because that's one of the things in plastic surgery, we not, you know, not only can we change the way people appear as far as attractiveness and, and youth, but also masculinity and femininity. So it is you know, something that you can play with and the way that whoever you're going to do the injections or surgery, you want to know, you know what are you doing, make sure 
which way you want to go. You want to stay looking masculine, you want to look more feminine. It's not right or wrong, it's just different. And there's many different things we can do to change that look. And like I said, I think in Ricky's case, he's definitely geared a little bit more towards looking more feminine. In his life, I think it's, if he does, it's great because I think early in his life, he had to hide his sexuality a little more. I think the world's more open now. I think if he likes that and he wants that, I think it's great he's going for it. That's not necessarily a bad thing. And I think if he moves in that direction, just be careful not to make things look too poofy or too strange. So that would be my only advice for him moving forward that he stays in the fact, even if he wants to be more feminine, that he also appears more attractive and that he, that he stays on track to looking attractive and not strange or weird.